everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me here today today i thought we'd just do some card making um nothing particularly special i've grabbed out off of my shelves the party time deluxe card collection from hunky dory it was a collection that i picked up from them um a couple of weeks ago now yeah a couple of weeks ago um they had like a, a, a sale on and they've got quite a few kits that were really good value so I picked this one up. If you have missed the haul, please do head over to my channel. It is on there. I desperately need to get making some more cards because I've been very naughty. <laughs> and I blame you guys. Uh, Hunky Dory currently have the goodie boxes in stock. I picked up a couple of their Christmas ones um, and absolutely loved them. I thought they were fantastic. Um, I did receive an email to say that they had the new goodie boxes. These are kind of like every day, just lots of different things in there. Um, I had planned on ignoring that and then I got a comment on one of my videos telling me that they were on offer um, and I've ended up going and purchasing them. So I've already had a dispatch email tell me that they are on their way and I could really do with making some room um for them to arrive so i thought i'd pick this kit off my shelf and just try and see how many cards we can make now i'm always very conscious of how long my videos are so um i don't i may end up doing this over a couple of videos if i'm honest but i've grabbed the first sheet of cardstock from them this one is the cocktail hour we have got enough center so enough toppers here to definitely do at least three cards possibly a couple of little mini ones as well if i'm honest and then what i find with the hunky dory kits is you get one sheet of toppers and then two coordinating card stocks i always use card blanks under mine just because i find it easier that way um but you can obviously um use the card that they provide and um turn them into card blanks themselves so i'm gonna grab uh, I'm going to make a couple of shaker cards out of these two um, oops, and I'm going to try and work as quickly as I can. So I've just grabbed two 5x7 five by five, five by white card blanks. I pulled these in half because these are quite a nice size for those toppers. So there we go. So I'm going to make this one and this one into two shaker cards cards have become my favourite thing ever to make. So we have that one. And then because both of these don't have any sentiments within the images, I'm then going to grab the two sentiments as well. So we've got the pink one to match. And we have the purple one to match that one just there. That will then leave me with those toppers to use on another card. I'm going to grab, grab my uh, guillotine cutter. The first thing that I always do, especially when using card blanks, is just measure them to see um, how accurate they are. Because I have on occasion found that they can be a little bit off. 5 by 7s are usually pretty good, but let's have a look. Yeah, that one's 5 And yeah, that is seven. So that is pretty good to be fair. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to use this one for that one with the yellow on the bottom. And then I'm going to use this party one for that one because I feel like the colours match quite nicely. So I'm going to come in a quarter of an inch smaller on both sides. There we go. And that's just going to leave me with a really nice white border to go round that. And then I'm going to grab this and try to do the same. So I'm going to come in quarter of an inch under. And then... Come in at that 
then I've got these pieces ready for my other cards. There we go. So that's all the cutting that I'm going to need to do for these ones. So pop those over there. Bring back my card links. I'm going to grab my double sided tape and we'll just get these stuck down. I'm going to work in um, pairs at the minute, just it's that whole like mass making, just doing everything at the same time. And because these are similar colours, I am, to be fair, going to um, use similar shake pieces in these. I feel like I can. So I'll stick this one on my first card blank. Just make sure you've got it the way you want it. I do want the colour on the top, I think. So put this on here like so. That's our first card from, I do love the hunky dory stuff, so easy to make beautiful cards out of. So we have this one. That's our second card front. And then these ones don't have the like multi frames, so um grab all my scissors, just clear off these little notches here, just so it's a little bit neater. There we go. So this is going to sit roughly there. That will give enough room for the frame and then we'll have the sentiment as well. So I always stick these down with a little bit of wet glue. I just find it a little bit more secure, especially when we're going to be putting um, shake pieces in this. So just follow it around. Da -da -da. Go. So that's the first one, and I'm just going to pop a book on that, and then I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. So take the frame off, give this a little bit of a trim. just while I'm sticking this down if you're new here and this is your first video please do hit that subscribe button it really helps us to grow our channel and also like this video when you like our video it lifts us up in the YouTube algorithms and it just lets more people see our videos so please do that 
so that is those pieces so the next thing we need to do is we need to build up our frames and get these ready so i'm going to grab a slightly thinner um double-sided tape to run around these so it's still exactly the same it's still double-sided tape but i'm just gonna go around this like so don't worry about the little lifts in there once you take this backing off and stick the acetate down they will just disappear First frame done. run out of that one I don't know if I've got any more of the skinny one I might have to use some thicker one mm. nope they're all too they're all thicker than what I've got so let me just use some of this I'm sure it'll be fine I have to get some more tape on order So I'm going to grab my acetate. I'm not using any special acetate. Um, I'll be able to get both out of that one actually. Um, I just picked some up from um, I picked some up from Amazon uh, a while ago. It was quite a big bulk pack to be honest. Um, but it does the job perfectly. You can get really fancy ones. You can get some that are like patterned and foiled and some really beautiful ones i just haven't got those so i'm going to cut my acetate roughly to size I feel like this is going to be a pain today so i'm going to cut larger than i need and then because I've actually got a separate strip along this bottom, I am just going to attach my acetate with this bottom piece here. So that then I know it's stuck down and should be easier then to trim around the top, just making it closer to the size I need. There we go. So then I can take off the back in all the way around in one fell swoop. And that is our first one with the acetate on. And then I'll take this other one. I'm going to do a similar way because that actually was quite easy. So I'll we'll cut straight up there, straight across the top. Take this bottom piece off just here and line this acetate up along the bottom. There we go. And then I can cut round it. Like so. Peel off this, and that is our two frames made and ready. Now, for um, a lot of you, you'll know I have a lot of problem with static in my acetate, so I always go a little bit to town with this. But 
I'm using an anti-static bag, first of all. Give those a really good wipe. There is still a lot of static in that, a lot. So, the next thing that I do is I actually use a tumble dry sheet. Nothing fancy. These ones happen to be Lenore, but I just want to give this a really good wipe with this. And this just works like magic. The anti-static bag never seems to touch it, but as soon as I get this on, it's just amazing. So I wipe both sides down with that, so it's all good and ready to go. Now, there is a lot less static in those already. So the next thing I'm going to do is essentially the same as what I've just done with the double-sided tape, but over this, I'm going to go around with the foam strips. Now, these are some skinny foam strips that I picked up from, uh, where did I get these from? Uh, Craftalia. They are really, really good. You get a lot in them, and I found them really useful for things like this. I also use them a lot for my um, decoupage layer sheets as well. So... I'm going to go around and I always go around them twice to make sure that it's got enough height. There we go. I also like to overlap where my joints have been. So, the first one done yeah. so I'm going to pop that to one side that's now ready to go on and then we're going to go and do this one so same again And then with these, sometimes when I do my shakers, I put lots of different pieces in. I'm not going to this time. I'm just going to have a few different little bits. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to put in, but <laughs> I'm determined to just not put quite as much in this time. So that now makes me my two frames all good and ready to go. So I'm going to bring back my cards. That glue will at least be dry enough for me to be able to start adding some of my shake bits and pieces. So 
I'm just going to grab what I've got available, if I'm perfectly honest. So, these are quite pretty. These are clothes. Let's pop a few of these in both of these. These are like some um, 3D flowers. I really like the iridescent colours on this. I think that's really pretty. Try and split them up a little bit because they do fall into each other. They go really nicely with it. And then I'm going to pop a few of these. I've got love hearts in. have I got? What haven't I got is probably a bigger question. Um, I think some love hearts would be nice. So, I think if we go for, I've got some of these as well. I really like these and they're going to match those flowers as well. So we'll put a scoop of those in each side. Like so. Then I've got these really pretty like shaker mixers, mixers. So, I'm going to go for a scoop of purple in this side. In fact, I might go for a little bit more. Purple in that one. And then, oops. I've got a pink of it, pinky peach version. I'm going to pop in this side. And then... I think I'm pretty much there to be honest. I've got these like silver hearts. I think these are quite pretty. They're very staticky, but it'll be okay. Scooping that one. And scooping this other side. There we go. And I think that is it. I don't think I'm going to add anything else to those. I have so much I could add, but I just don't think I'm going to. I say as I check. I tell you what, I put a few butterflies in. It. Put the things away, Lauren. Put the things away. So, this frame goes on this one. So, I'm gonna pull this off. I'm gonna give one final light on the inside, one final light on the outside. Move those around a little bit. go so that's our first little sheet that's where they've been they'll move hold on i'll get those to move in a second let's get this other side stuck down first So we've got two beautiful shaker cards now, but even with rubbing, those hearts are sticking a little bit, but it's absolutely fine. It's fine. 
so um there's one of my sentiments where's my video gone oh dear uh let me just pause my video i've lost a sentiment found it but not at all so I'll just give this a trim like so I think I like that up there. So I'm going to cut this in half. Stick those together. So now it is a double layer, exactly the same as my thing. I'm going to stick that at the back there. And then I'm going to take my wet glue and just put a little bit along the side that's going to stick on the frame. And that can stick there like so to a very special friend so that's that first shake card done and then I'm going to trim this one off exactly the same and I'm probably going to just pop the sentiment in the same spot if I'm honest yeah so again I'm going to take a piece of this Chop it. So it's going to stick that side like so. A little bit of wet glue. There we go, so pretty. I need to try and get that loose without taking my card apart, so I'll have to have a play with that. Leave that with me, I will get those loose. The others are all moving nicely. So that's two shaker cards that we've made out of that one sheet. So let's move all of that up there, look. Let's bring back, so we've got that one that can be a topper. These are the card pieces that we've chopped off. And then we've got these two. And then that will be that sheet finish. let's take a look at these I feel like I want to match those two together maybe somehow and then I could maybe fit on there like so and then that leaves that so let me just do this trimming I think if I get cards made out of this sheet, just to show you how many you can make. And this one. Right, I'm going to pop that one on there and I think this is going to sit really nicely on like an A6. Um, okay. I haven't got many of these left, I'll have to pick some of these up. But, that is my last car blank and it's damaged so let's not do that one. Oh no, it's uh, okay. I have some A6 in the craft card so we'll put this on the craft card absolutely fine it'll just give it a slightly different finish that's all 
and I'll get some C6 card blanks on order. So let me bring my cutter back in. Couldn't grab it then. So again, the first thing I'm going to do is just measure this. So we're looking just over four by like five and three quarters. So if we do this three and three quarters, like so. And then I want to get this in this card instead. So if we do this, I can't. sit on there like so and then I'm going to decoupage that up there and then I think I'm just going to add some um, little I've got lots of um, self adhesive like rhinestones in that so I'm just going to add some of those I think just to decorate it up a little bit more so purely for speed I'm going to stick this with glue There we go. And then I'm going to use my big roll of foam tape that I've got to attach this. It's not too uh, deep, this one. Which at first I was a little bit unsure of, but now the more I'm using it, the more I actually quite like the fact it's not too uh, deep of a foam tape. on here like so cheers it's your birthday and then I think I actually want to work with those silver colours and I've got these diamond sparkles these are new to me I might just pop some of the silver ones on what size do I want I'm going to go for that medium size. So let me grab my tweezers. Oh dear. There we go. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of extra glue on these. Oh no. there then now aren't you oh well what's up with these I seem to pick them up and hold on to them you're gonna live there now mr silver rhinestone you can live there and we'll go for one more i think somewhere Uh, 
Uh, maybe in this bottom corner here. Right, the corner so it doesn't quite look level with that. That'd be fine. That will be fine. Oh, leave you there. Might come back for you in a bit. I don't know why I couldn't pick that up with my tweezers. Um, so that is a third card. How beautiful. How quick as well. Super duper fast with that one. So that still leaves me with all of this left to play with, which is what we like, isn't it? So just trying to have a look. I think I want to do these on a couple of little cards. So I have got some lovely cute four by fours, but I did kind of want to put that in there with um, I'm just not sure. I don't know if it's too seamy. I'm not sure. Kind of need to do it all on this because I don't think that's going to be big enough. Even for a 4x4. Four four. Grab a couple of these out. too skinny what we've got left but sometimes it's all about how you make this come together kind of want to bring in those bunting pieces as well as this. Or could use maybe the white. Hold up. It's all about trying to work with what you've got. Maybe bring one of these across it. See how we can get this to fit. Right, we're going to do a bit of uh, cutting and sticking, slicing. So, I'm going to take off a little bit of this. take off a little bit of this like so let's see how we're looking Cock blank so I would say we're about there on that size wise these can stay Stick together like so. Right. So what size is this? This is three and three quarters. So let's take this and let's slice this to be the same. Like that. Sorry, I'm talking to myself a lot today, guys. It's going to work, isn't it? Right, this is going to take a bit of sticking together. So, I want that to kind of sit there. I want this piece to kind of sit 
there. And then I think I'm going to pop the that in between maybe? Or do I stick them together like so? Um, Take this one, line this up and stick this on there. Curve it over. Curve that bit over. There we go. So I've just managed to get this panel to like stick together. <sighs> Just be very, very careful with this because we don't want it to come apart before I've had a chance to stick it down. Got plenty of glue on, and I'm going to have this as a top open card, fold open, a fold on oh my top fold card. That's what I meant. Like this up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Would you tell? Could you tell? Yeah, probably. But I think that's quite pretty, and it means that I'm using um, and leaving myself with a lot less um, waste on here. So I'm going to use my giant roll of sticky again. There we go. I don't think that needs anything else because you've got that like bunting style in the background. So that's a fourth card. And now this one, what I can actually do is just cut some of that off the top and use that up there. Then that's going to leave me this gorgeous panel down the bottom to be able to make another card with a separate sentiment that I could probably find out of my um, uh, sentiment box, if I'm honest. So... Let's pull this back. So we did. Oh, just, sorry, guys, I've just hit you. Uh, so it's ever so slightly under four by ever so slightly under four. So let's cut our panel down three and three quarters. Uh, just go so slightly. More. Just to make sure I don't chop off any of that panel there. So, let me see something more. So, roughly there. What that's now done is that's left me this gorgeous panel here, which is measuring at uh, ever so slightly four and a half. So, if I cut that panel down, cut that into. Four and a half. What I've now got, look, is a gorgeous another topper. I hope these videos kind of give you some idea 
of some of the things that you can do and how you can make these kits stretch. Obviously, this is a kit that came with four sheets of the um, toppers and I think it was eight sheets of the matching card stock. But Hunky Dory do do some where you get one sheet of toppers and two sheets of the card stock. And um, it's great for you to see some of the things that you can do to really make those kits stretch. Because they are such good value. And when they say it makes a minimum of like, I don't know, two cards on those kits. They're saying that because they are anticipating or saying that if you fold that card stock just straight down the middle and make two A5 cards that that is what you're going to be able to make out of them but actually there are so many ways in which you can make this stretch um, so, um, but that would work wouldn't it just having to think now to try and give this a little bit of extra like just something more. Yeah, because that won't be big enough that way, which is fine. But I could possibly. Because that's a little bit too plain. Even for me, that's a little bit too plain. Even if I put like gems and things on. <sighs> very pretty just I feel like it needs a little bit more I feel like that little strip of pink would give me the more so let me take this and I'm gonna chop off these dots and then I'm gonna make it I don't know about that tint, I think. Is that about right? I can't quite put my card in. That would work. And then I don't want too much. Maybe one and a half inch. Like so. Just to sit on that bottom part of the panel there, look. Yeah, it's just giving it, just, just trying to make what I've got work for me. So, stick this down. No rules when it comes to card making. Do whatever you want, do whatever you like. If you think it looks good, you put it together. It's my motto. Right, stick that on me. Go. on the top, somewhere. just a buff along this lifted edge here go that a trim perfect there we go so it's just gonna act as like a bit of a buffer between the pink and the like bluey greeny color then I'm gonna pop that on there with some of my foam tape
like so. Beautiful, even if I do say so myself. And then I'm going to take just a couple of these little ones. Hopefully, I can pick them up this time. We're going to go for one here. I'm going to go for one around right about here. Don't stop moving. And then another one. Just down here like so. So that is another card made out of those sheets. So that makes me five. I really want to make a card out of this one, but I am running out of time. But I think that'd be so nice on a five by five. So let's see if I can quickly put one together. And because this doesn't have any uh, glitter or anything already on it, I'm going to use a piece of rainbow mirror to back that onto there like so so i know that one is um is it four and a half it was four and a half wasn't it uh we're looking just under five for that um yeah four and a half so let's go for Five and three quarters, that should fit nicely. Right, five and three quarters. So other than my little gems, this is the first thing that I'm kind of adding to my card stock. And all I'm doing is just making this stretch and work for me. Glue this onto this. Move it, make sure it's level and where I want it. There we go. And then I'm actually going to stick this onto my card base with a bit of the um, foam tape to give me a little bit of depth and dimension onto here. There we go. So I'm then going to take my card blank, attach this to here. There we go. And then I have just this tub of um, sentiments, all different ones. I think I'm going to go for one of these ones. Have a look. I might go for quite like this one. This one will be perfect and it has the silver to match. And I'm going to pop that there, I think. So let me grab a little bit more. 
as my foam tape. Where's that gone? Oh, stuck to my roll. Oh, it's like a magic trick there. I just pull that back in off. And there we go. Perfect. So, just a very quick recap. So, we started off, I was going to use the, um, I think it's the Party Time card collection. Um, I've ended up using just one of the sheets of toppers, two sheets of the uh, patterned cardstock that goes with it. I've added a few embellishments. I've made like a couple of shade cards and that. But to be fair, I haven't added a huge amount. And this is a great way of showing you just how much you can get out of these hunky dory kits. So, one sheet of toppers, two sheets of decorative cardstock. We've made this gorgeous card here. We have added in the um, Miri board and one sentiment just to make this cardstock go really, really well. I think that looks beautiful. Then we made two little four by four cards. Um, both of which we've used different um, pieces of cardstock to make that work. But I think they are gorgeous. We then have the a six size card. Um, we're just basically making these work for us. And then we have the two shaker cards. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Six cards from what we've got. I'm blown away and I can't wait to do some more and I'm going to do some more videos of trying to use up my kits because I really really need to and it just it shows you how much you can make from these I hope you've enjoyed it and it's inspired you to get your card making things out if you haven't already been and checked out hunky dory I highly recommend that you do there are lots of craft hauls on my channel, especially from Hunky Dory, because I think they are beautiful kits. They are great quality and they will tell you how many cards you can make and you can always make more. Uh, it's what I've always found with the Hunky Dory kits. I don't think I've ever had a Hunky Dory kit where I have made less or certainly not significantly less than they've said. I tend to do one topper per card, but you can absolutely like put more toppers on just be aware you'll make less cards thank you so much for joining me here today i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week bye for now